morning. It has just gone nine o'clock and we have just got back from the gym. Well, I say just got back. Um, I have had a shower and I've had some breakfast and I am just about to do my makeup and I thought I would do a little get ready with me. Just popping a little bit of eye cream on. I've been using um, Morad Dark Circle Corrector to try and correct my dark circles. Actually, I think they're, they're, um, they're better in the summer anyway. I don't know if you find that, but like I always find my dark circles are worse in the winter. Um, and I've also been using this um, rapid age spot correcting serum, which I've never used one of these before. But the other day I was Googling, so I've got like a little bit of scarring on, not really scarring, but like a little bit of redness on my chin from old spots. And I've also got these three marks here where I had a little breakout recently. And it said to use, um, it, re it recommended this one. Um, and funnily enough, I'd actually been sent like a little trio, little minis from Morad anyway. M Morad? Murad? Yeah, Morad. I think it's pronounced Morad. Um, so I thought I would use that on my chin. I don't want to use it all over my face because I am trying to like, I don't want to stop my freckles from coming through. I feel like if I used it all over my face, it would get rid of my freckles on my um, forehead and around my nose. So I've just been using it around my mouth um, only for the last few days. So I haven't really noticed any difference yet. I'm going to just pop a little bit of that on. And then I have also been using the same um, vitamin C day moisture because it has an SPF in it and the weather has been glorious recently. Not so much today. Um, it's pretty cloudy today, but I have been using, using it to make sure that I've got my SPF on. Although I find that sometimes um, moisturizers with SPF in them make my eyes sting a little bit. Oh, by the way, I've got a tiny bit of mascara on because I put a little bit of mascara on this morning before I went to the gym, just because uh, I have washed my face, but obviously avoiding my eyes. Um, but yeah, I put a little bit of mascara on this morning because I woke up and my eyes just looked so tired. I thought I'd put a tiny little bit on. So if you're, like, if you're going to the gym, do you wear makeup to the gym? I tend not to, but sometimes I do put a little bit of mascara on just to make myself feel a little bit better. For my foundation, I'm using a little bit of Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser in the shade Bisque 3W1. Um, just really lovely. I feel like in the summer, especially on days where I'm not really doing much, it's nice to just use tinted moisturiser rather than foundation. Concealer, also Laura Mercier, and it is the Flawless Fusion Concealer in the shade 3N. I'm just going to pop a little bit under my eyes, around my nose, on these little pesky little spots here, and then a little bit on my chin, and then a little bit on my eyelids as well. Um, and oh, I'm just going to use my finger. I was going to grab a brush then, but I cannot be bothered. This is just super, super fast makeup. Face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places makes me laugh about I just realized I forgot to set my makeup. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder. Um, I've got this in number one, fair. But next time I get it, I will get a medium because it's a little bit light for me in the fair. Um, although it's so like lightweight that you don't really notice the colour too much, like you can't see it on the skin. Uh, blusher, Bare Minerals in the shade Striker Rose. Pop a little bit of that on. I keep reaching for this one at the moment. I've actually gone through to the pan. Really nice, easy, um, pinky blush for the summer. Pop a little bit on my nose. Gosh, I'm getting carried away. A little bit of highlighter down the nose on the top lip, under the brows, on the forehead, to shine a little bit. Cleaning the foundation off my lips before I put my lip liner on. This is a Rimmel lip liner in the shade 90s nude. Um, and it just matches my lips, per well not perfectly, but really well. Okay, it does look slightly darker than my lips, but it's a pretty good match. Oh, my nose is itching. I feel like I've got like a brush hair on it. 
liquid lipstick is also a Rimmel one, the Stay Satin in the shade Shoulder Pads. And the mascara I am using Diego Dalla Palma mascara, the My Toy Boy one. Sorry, I just had to change my battery. Um, but I have just finished off my makeup. I just take, I had a bit of mascara around my eyes from doing my mascara, so I just got rid of that and popped a little bit of bronzer on my eyelids. Um, oh, and that's what I was going to do. I'm just going to put a little bit of this over the top of my lipstick. This is MAC French Silk and just makes it a little bit more coral, a little bit more summery. Um, but yeah. That is my makeup done. Now I need to sort out this barnet. By the way, I've got this headband on while I was doing my makeup. Um, I didn't wash my hair this morning, even though I definitely should have. But I just couldn't be bothered. It's so like, even though it's even though it's not very sunny today, it's still super muggy, and I just couldn't be bothered to blow dry it and curl it. So I have literally been living in um, sort of slicked back buns recently. Let me just give it a brush. I put a lot of oil in it last night, by the way. Like I put loads of Moroccan, Moroccan oil in it and platted it. Um, it is greasy anyway, so some of it is grease, but a lot of it is Moroccan oil, so don't judge me too much. Um, but I thought I'd really, really quickly show you how I do my little slick bun, because I know a lot of you have asked, even though it is like literally the easiest thing ever. So I just put my hair in a center parting. That was the worst center parting ever. Um, but I would just recommend making sure either your hair is dirty or it's got like loads of oil in it, like, well not loads, but it's got like loads of product in it, or um, yeah, I always just find it kind of stays in place a little bit better when it's a little bit dirty. So literally all I do is put it in a centre parting kind of like most of the way up, because I'm only going to use this bit here as a parting, and then just take it into a ponytail like that kind of gather it up but trying to keep this first like inch or inch and a half as a parting and then using a comb i just kind of like comb down and then up like comb sort of comb the parting down and then back into a ponytail and then i just hold it like that with one hand and then using the other hand i take the hair and wrap it like around my finger. Like that, pull my finger out. Wrap it all up like that. Grab a hair tie. And then using the hair tie, I just sort of like put it twice or three times around the bun, depending on, this, this hair tie is really tight, so I can only get it around twice. And then I'll sort of pull that bun out like a little bit till it's like the right kind of shape. And then get a grip like this, little curvy grip. And then just push it in to sort of secure it like that. Bit of hairspray. And one thing I do actually do, if like I've got a few, you know sometimes when your scalp shows through, it's not actually too bad today, but sometimes if I've got a little bit of scalp showing through, I will just use, this is like a really old um, L'Oreal brow powder, and I just get like a little brow brush and kind of do this, and it just brings like my hairline in, like it just fills in the little gaps if there is any. See what I mean? It kind of just like, it, this matches my hair perfectly. So that is my very quick and easy like hair and makeup done. I am going to get dressed. By the way, I have got on like, this is like a dressing gown. It's my um, fig leaves cashmere robe, which feels delightful, but 
I'm very, very hot, so I'm gonna go and get some clothes on. Why is it so dark? I don't know why I always try and show you my outfit in this mirror when the lighting is always terrible here. Um, but I have just got dressed and I thought I'd quickly show you what I've put on. I was going to say my outfit of the day, but it's not really much of an outfit. I've just popped on a linen shirt from Amazon um, and then my blue jeans from ASOS and I've also got my Birkenstocks on as well because they are just super comfortable. I feel like they're a really good summer alternative to slippers um, and I also think they look nice. I know they're not for everyone. When I featured them in my capsule wardrobe video recently, quite a few people said that they were not a fan, um, but I like them, especially these ones, I think with the gold buckles. Um, and yeah, that is it for my outfit today. I've also popped on, well, I had this necklace on already. In fact, I haven't taken this off since I got it. Um, I've got a necklace on from my jewelry. I think all of my jewelry is my jewelry. Actually, I've just popped on these little hoops and my rings as well, and that is me good to go for the day. Um, I have just had a couple of packages arrive. They're just sat by the front door. So I'm gonna open them with you guys in a bit. I am just waiting for a couple more bits to arrive because I've ordered some bits from Amazon Fashion. I'm working with them again this month because um, it is Amazon Prime Day. I think it'll be tomorrow. When this video goes up, it's Amazon Prime Day on the 21st and the 22nd of June, I'm pretty sure. I'll chat to you about it properly in a bit. Um, but I have ordered some bits from Amazon Fashion as well to show you. Um, but I'm going to make myself a drink and then I will sit down and open some packages. Also, I've got these random little stalks in a vase here because I had a bunch of roses and the stems were like really sprouting, like little new little sprouts. And I thought, I thought if I left them, like I chopped obviously the heads off and the bottoms. And I thought if I left them, do you think they will turn, they will like grow into little rose plants or am I just being absolutely ridiculous with that idea? Um, I have got some rooting powder somewhere so I thought if I dipped the bottom into the rooting powder I might get some little mini rose trees or not? Not trees, rose bushes. <laughs> um, but yeah they look like they're really kind of like sprouting new life. Okay, so as usual, I am sat on the floor and I have got a little gathering of packages next to me. Um, I've also just made myself a little cup of lemon and ginger to keep me hydrated whilst I open the packages. <laughs> um, and I've got a few different ones, like some of them have all come separately from Amazon Fashion. And then this just arrived from, well, I don't know where it's from, it just says DPD on it, but I haven't got any information on it at all. It feels like cosmetics of some description, um, but we will see. I don't know where that's from. Don't think I'm expecting anything either. And then I've also got another little box down here. Let me just, I mean, I don't know why I'm showing it to you anyway, but I've also got another box there that I'm going to open afterwards. So I am going to start off. I did grab a knife somewhere. Oh yeah. Just a butter knife, don't panic. <laughs> um, I'm gonna start off with this big one because this has got lots of the Amazon fashion bits in it. And as I said before, um, it is Amazon Prime Day tomorrow and the following day. So the 21st and the 22nd, which is, let me just double check I've got that right. Yeah, 21st and the 22nd. So basically they have got loads and loads of discounts and offers on I think there's like over a million products that are going to be discounted so that's Amazon fashion and Amazon kind of home and lot, lots of different lots of different um, items on Amazon not just fashion um, but I am working with Amazon fashion to show some of my favorite picks and I've also um, made a kind of selection so they sent me a list of um, they sent me a link to like loads and loads of different bits from Amazon to pick out my favorite pieces which will then have an extra 20% off just for you guys. I've got some of them to show you here and I'm gonna chat through some of them um, in a minute after I have, after I've looked in this box. Oh, I ordered some Levi denim shorts and well, I mean, I live in denim shorts in the summer and I was so impressed with my Levi jeans that I got from Amazon last month that I, 
thought I would try out the denim shorts. These were on offer as well. I think they were about 30, how much were they? About 35, I think they were, um, which I thought was really good for a pair of denim shorts. They do look quite short. They say they're a high rise. Um, so if they are a high rise, then they're going to be quite short. I went for, I think I went for a 27. Yeah, I went, I sized up to a 27 because I normally size up in denim shorts because I don't want them to be too short, basically. Um, but they look like they might be a little bit big on the waist. But then saying that, they might not be. Absolutely love the wash of them. I think the wash is just gorgeous, like such a rich blue denim. Um, yeah, I like those a lot. I really, really like those. I feel like because I wear denim shorts so much, I thought it was about time I had like a proper pair of Levi denim shorts, you know? Um, yeah, they're lovely. I will, I'll try everything on afterwards. I also do have a few other bits that are coming, um, that haven't arrived yet, I don't think. So if I don't unbox those bits here, then I will show you them like on the try, try on clips afterwards. I'll like kind of show you at the end of the video. Um, oh, I also ordered, because I was so impressed with this linen shirt, I noticed they had a sleeveless version of it, and I thought, actually, that is perfect. Sometimes I want to put on a white linen shirt, but I kind of want my arms out as well, so I thought that that was the perfect, like, alternative. Um, and I thought that, with these shorts, would just be such a gorgeous summer outfit. And it comes in loads of different colours as well. Um, what else did I find? What else did I find? I just said, what else did I find? Because I saw that. <laughs> what else did I find? Um, what else did I order is what I meant to say. Oh, okay, so I ordered two pairs of sandals. First of all, I got these. And the reason I got these was because I had a pair like this. Um, well, I've still got them. Oh, did I actually? No, I think I threw them away. I think they got really tatty. tatty. Anyway, I got a pair of, like this, very similar, about four or five years ago now um, but this bit was cream instead of black and then they've got this tie bit that wraps up your leg and every time I wore them I would get compliments on them like I, I used to people used to come over and say I said people used to come over but a few people came over and said where are your sandals from because they're such a statement piece where they kind of wrap up your leg they look so cool and then the other pair of sandals that I ordered which were a real bargain I think these were about um, I think they're about 12 or 13 pounds, I want to say, and they are real leather. Well, they said they were real leather anyway. Yeah, real leather. Um, and they're just a super simple pair of tan strappy sandals. And I love like my Everlane, you know, the ones with the cross strap that I wear all the time. I love them, but I wanted something a little bit darker um, and maybe like a little less, like thinner straps as well. These were exactly what I, look, I was looking for. I wasn't expecting to find them on Amazon for like under 15 pounds. So super, super impressed with these. Um, yeah, they look really, really nice. They look exactly what I was after. And I also like the fact that they've got an ankle strap as well. Lou and I are going to London for a few days next week. I will be vlogging it, of course. And I feel like these will be perfect for walking around London when you want, you want something that's kind of like secure. And then the final thing in this box is a denim jacket, a Levi's denim jacket. And if you watch my videos, you will know that I've been on the hunt for the perfect denim jacket for a good few months now, I'd say. In fact, it was actually since I did my spring capsule wardrobe, when I filmed that, I was like, why have I not got a denim jacket? Um, anyway, I ordered one from H&M, it wasn't quite right. I saw one, I've seen a few, but I haven't found the perfect one yet. Um, so I thought, do you know what? Where else to go than Levi's? Like, they do the perfect denim jackets. The wash looks really lovely. It looks quite short off. A little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be. But it feels really like nice, soft denim. So I will try it on and see how it looks on. Hopefully, I will find the perfect denim jacket. Um, that's everything in that box. Oh, I also ordered a little um, crop top. This was a Tommy Hilfiger one. I ordered this because it was five pounds. I was literally like, I saw it on there and it said from five pounds. I clicked on there and I thought, no, surely not for the crop top. Yeah, five pounds. And I wear these all the time. I think I've got a, um, 
I've actually got a grey Calvin Klein one underneath here at the moment. I just wear them all the time rather than wearing bras. I mean, who can be bothered with bras anymore? <laughs> um, and yeah, I saw that they had a Tommy Hilfiger one in grey and I thought, do you know what? That's just a really, really great basic to have. So yeah, absolutely chuffed with that for five pounds. What? A bargain all of this all of these things will be linked below in the description box by the way and um, I will also pop my size next to the pieces for comparison as well if I forget to mention oh okay this is oh, I'm excited to see what this is like so I ordered a new watch strap for my Fitbit I haven't actually got it on now I had it on this morning when I went to the gym but the battery had gone, so I've left it on charge. Um, but I ordered a gold watch strap that's magnetic. Oh, I'm gonna have to try this on. But basically, I saw it and thought, actually, it's a really nice strap. It's just like a plain kind of gold chain strap. And I thought it looked a little bit nicer than the big black chunky one. I thought that looked really nice. And then you just obviously have the the kind of face of the watch on um and i think it was about 12 pounds maybe something it was really reasonable and i thought it was perfect just like a good alternative looks nicer than just a chunky black strap doesn't it what else did i order oh yes i also ordered these linen shorts these you will have already seen we try these on in a previous amazon video but Previously, I got them in a size um, 8, which was an extra small, so I'm hoping... Yeah, so I've ordered them this time in a 10, which is a small. Um, when, I ordered the, when I ordered the 8, I thought that that would be a small, but anyway, they were a little bit too small. So I ordered them in a small, and they are just a super simple, soft pair of linen shorts. I am going to see what is in this package. donuts it's donuts there's me shaking it around like oh it feels like cosmetics it's blooming donuts <gasps> why have i got donuts this must be a pr package from someone oh my gosh i'm excited about this i got these donuts from um what, who sent them out I think it was Ciate, um, Ciate like nail polishes. They did like a, oh yeah, that was it. They did a range with Miss Piggy and they sent out Miss Piggy donuts and they were honestly the best donuts I have ever had. So I am very excited about this. Okay, what's this for? Enjoy, I mean, I will enjoy. Hey Charlotte, here's some doughy goodness to brighten up your day. Enjoy Team DT. They just sent me donuts out the blue. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, well one of them's got a little bit battered where I shaked it, where I shook the box, but <gasps> look at those. <gasps> oh wow. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to have one now. Oh, my mouth, I'm actually salivating. <laughs> what flavour are they? Oh my goodness. <sighs> chill, Charlotte, chill. <laughs> Um, it doesn't actually say. Does it not say what flavour they are? Surely it must say somewhere. I mean, I'm guessing I'm just going to have a bite of each one and see which one I like the most. Oh, gosh. Which one shall I have a bite of? I feel like this is lemon. I'm going to have a bite of the lemon one because, oh. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, so good. Oh, so, so good. <laughs> mm. It's a good job I opened this today because usually with PR packages, I sort of leave them in my office for a bit until I'm filming or something. Right. I'm gonna have to eat this donut and I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> I ate all six. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I ate one. I ate the whole of John Lennon. 
Lemon, sorry, Gen John Lemon. I found the card um, and I ate John Lemon. Pi piped with lemon curd filling and dipped in a zesty lemon graze and citrus peel. And I can confirm it was worth every bite of calories. It was blooming delicious. Um, but yeah, this is a little card that came with it. So I think that we've got Candy Warhol, Glen Coco, Justin Timberflake, <laughs> Caramel Gibson, and Selena Domez. See what they did there? <laughs> um, but yeah, they're, they're the six that I've got. And um, the lemon one was absolutely divine. I have just undone the top button of my jeans so because it was very filling. I feel like I've eaten all six. I'm sure I will by the end of the day. Um, no, I won't. I'll make Lou eat a couple so that I don't eat them all basically. Um, anyway, I thought I would quickly get into this box here. I know where it's from because it says on the front it's from a brand called Barley and they contacted me a few days ago with a little like selection of their new in products and said would I like to try any of them I've never shopped at Bali before um and oh that's annoying I've pulled the tab and I can just go this side um yeah I've never shopped there before and I had a little look on their website and oh my goodness there were some really really gorgeous pieces um in fact there were so many bits that I loved on the website but there was just a select few items on the kind of like a line sheet that they sent me to choose from so i went for a oh yeah so i went for a now that i'm a gymmer I, so I know i'm one of those annoying people that keeps mentioning the gym um but it's because we've been going most days and so like i kind of feel like it's something like it's some it's a part of my life now <laughs> but anyway now that i'm a gym going goer i need some more active wear sets they get very sweaty very quickly and this was on the line sheet and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. So it's just really lovely grey leopard print and then the matching bottoms as well. The only thing I thought with these is that I don't know if they're going to be high weight. Oh yeah, no, actually, they blooming well will be. I thought they might not be high weighted enough. Oh, they feel so soft. They feel really, really lovely and soft. I'm pretty sure they sell barley on ASOS as well. Um, but yeah, I thought that that was a really, really cute set. And then I also went for a pair of their gym shorts because, again, I thought they'd be handy for when I don't really want to wear leggings. I thought a pair of like lightweight black shorts would be perfect. I'd probably just wear these with like a loose vest. Um, and then the final set I went for is this gorgeous beige um, jumper and short set. So I'll show you the shorts in a second. But it's just a really lovely lightweight kind of almost feels like a like a toweling sort of like a really fine toweling sort of fabric um i'm not sure what the fabric is but yeah it just says natural fibers lightweight breathable and i just thought it was a really really cute like loungewear set to wear at home so i've also got the matching shorts as well i went for an extra small because i think it said the model was wearing extra. oh no i didn't i went for a small well, I think I went for the same size the model had on, basically. Um, right, I am surrounded by, like, I mean, I'll show you. I'll show you as long as there's nothing with my address on it, because I seem to make that mistake now. Nope, we're all good. Yeah, I'm surrounded by, um, basically, a lot of stuff. So I am going to tidy all this away, and then I'll try some bits on. Good morning, it is Saturday now. Um, I finished filming quite abruptly yesterday because I was gonna show you all the bits on from Amazon after I unboxed them, but the weather had different ideas. Like literally all of a sudden it just went so, so gray. And I came out into the hallway to kind of like film the try on clips and everything just looked it, like the lighting was so drab. I thought, you know what? I will wait until tomorrow when it's a little bit brighter, hopefully. So. It's Saturday morning, it's a little bit brighter, still not the nicest of days, even though it actually looks quite bright on camera, it's actually not. Um, but we, yeah, we've been up early this morning, we went to the gym, um, and then came back, had breakfast, and then I had a lovely little shower and washed my hair for the first time in blooming ages. It's feeling so clean and so shiny. I actually used a, I've been using a different shampoo 
in the past couple of weeks been using like a red ken um what's it called it's like a bonding bonding something I'll, I'll link it it's the one in like the white bottle like a gray white bottle um anyway i literally like left it on for ages in the shower this morning i like, left the um, conditioner on and my hair feels so so soft and like really shiny just feels delightful um anyway enough about hair i thought i would show you some of the amazon bits on i have got the denim shorts on now i've literally just put them on and oh my goodness i love them in fact let me just turn you around and show you by the way i have just put the mirror in front of the front door because there's these little windows either side so it makes it a little bit brighter in here um but these are the levi shorts on and oh my goodness they are absolutely perfect they're not too big i thought that they might be but actually they're a little bit lower than i would usually go for like i'd normally go for a, a jean that kind of finish uh, a short that finishes slightly higher but they fit so well like there's not a single bit of gaping at the back which I tend to get with denim shorts they sit really well on my back um, and lengthwise they are a great length I don't know why I've still got the tag on because I'm definitely definitely keeping these um, the only thing I'd say is that this side's got a lot more rips than this side but I think I just need to like give this a little give this a little pull and make that slightly more ripped yeah that looks better already actually doesn't it <laughs> um but yeah love the wash of them they feel so so comfortable on sometimes denim shorts can feel like they're cut in around here whereas these feel so roomy and you can see look, like they're a they're a good length like they've got a good good little bit on the leg um if i just show you the back really really nice fit on the back love all the levi details like this tab and yeah just a really really flattering cut really comfortable so much so that i think that i might have to order them in like the really bleached wash and actually use my own discount code oh by the way i know i mentioned that these were i think they were 35 pounds these are one of the pieces that will also have an extra 20 percent off so they will be under 30 pounds which i feel like is such a steal for a nice pair of levi denim shorts like really really great um so they will be linked in the description box. I think my discount code is, I think it's model mouth 20, but I'll pop it on the screen now and I will pop it in the description box as well. Um, but yeah, I think I might have to order the lighter wash because these are just such lovely shorts. So I've just popped on the white linen shirt with the Levi shorts. And again, really, really lovely. I knew I was going to like this anyway because of how much I love the beige one. And it's the same fit. It's the same really soft, lovely linen, um, but obviously sleeveless. It is quite a boxy fit. Like I think I sized up. I'm not sure. I'll leave my size in the description box, but it is a little bit big under my armpit. So I could probably maybe size down. But I also think because it's just come out of the packaging and it has got the line on it, that's probably what's making it sit slightly more boxy. Um, but yeah, linen feels lovely, a nice kind of bright white and looks really nice with the blue denim as well. Oh, and if I just quickly show it to you untucked, to be fair, I think I'd probably wear this more with jeans rather than denim shorts. I think I'd wear it untucked like this with a pair of shorts. Um, but you can see that lengthwise, it's a nice length to be worn with jeans and it dips down a little bit longer at the back. I've just put it, popped it on now with, got my vages on as well. Um, and yeah, just a cute chilled summer outfit. Okay, next up, I've just popped on the beige linen shorts and these feel great on. They fit so much better in the 10 than they did in the 8. They just feel a little bit more roomy. They feel a little bit longer as well and a bit more room around the uh, crotch area. <laughs> um yeah really lovely linen shorts super simple like really nice color really nice fit they're elasticated at the back as well so they just fit nicely on your hips and your bottom pocket either side um yeah really lovely and i quite like the way they look with this white linen um shirt as well just again another super simple super simple summer outfit <laughs> um and then on my feet i have also popped on the tan leather sandals and I love how these look. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. They, they fit me perfectly. The only one thing I would say is that they've got like a little bit 
between the toes. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but like that little bit, well, obviously you can see that, can't you? <laughs> um, but the little bit that goes between your toes feels a little bit uncomfortable. Like I don't think I would be able to walk around in them all day until I'd worn them in a little bit. I think it's probably just because I'm used to wearing like Birkenstocks or like slider style sandal sandals and I haven't worn anything with something between my toes for a while. So I think I just need to break them in a little bit. And they do also come in black as well. And I think maybe one other color, definitely black, maybe a lighter color. But anyway, I'll leave them linked and you can check out the different colors. Okay, this is how the denim jacket looks on. Um, what do we think? I am a little bit unsure like I do really like it. it wasn't what I expected it to fit like I thought it was going to be slightly longer and a little bit more oversized I think it was called an oversized denim jacket so I thought it was going to be a bit more a bit more oversized <laughs> basically um but I do really like it I think the wash of it is really lovely um and it feels like super comfortable on like the denim feels lovely and soft um but I'm not sure what do you think? Let me come a little bit closer so you can see the detail a bit better. I do think it's a really, really lovely jacket um, and it fits quite well actually. I suppose I don't really need it too much more boxy. I feel like this is kind of like a good um, in-between of being slightly boxy but not super oversized so I could still wear it like over the top of little dresses. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about this one. It does also come in different, like loads of different washes as well. So maybe a slightly lighter wash or is this a good a good option okay i didn't show you these shorts yesterday because they have only just arrived this morning um but i also ordered these khaki green kind of like a jogger style short and these were 11 pounds or 11 pounds something which i thought was such a great price they do also come in navy gray like a charcoal gray and kind of like a dusky pink color as well i think they may even be on offer again during um tomorrow for prime day but i'm not entirely sure um but they feel so so comfortable on they're really really soft and comfortable a really nice fit as far as this kind of style of short goes they fit really well even for gardening like for 11 pounds you, you wouldn't worry if you wrecked them would you okay next up is another piece that arrived this morning and it is this gorgeous white maxi well i say maxi it's kind of like in between a maxi and a midi dress it finishes just on my ankle and i am five foot six for comparison um you may notice it has got a few little wet marks in it because i have just steamed it and i did it really i put it on and then i looked in the mirror and thought actually no it's got a few creases at the bottom so i steamed it while it was on hence why i kind of made a little bit of a mess up of it <laughs> um but ignoring the wet patches um i think it's an absolutely gorgeous dress it actually reminds me um, a similar style of the black one that I featured in a recent Amazon video, but it's sold out. I feel like it's a similar-ish kind of vibe with the tier, like the tiered layers, um, a really lightweight floaty fabric. It has got double layered, so it's got this lightweight fabric on top, which is a little bit see-through on its own, but then underneath you've got another kind of shorter layer. Um, and it just feels really lovely and lightweight. It has got a little waist tie on it as well. Um, and it does also come in black and like a nudie colour as well. Um, and I feel like this is the sort of dress that would fit in perfectly. Like if you saw my capsule wardrobe video, this is like the perfect capsule wardrobe dress that you could like layer up. In fact, I might actually try the denim jacket on over the top of this um, and see how it looks. Uh, but yeah, really lovely. Oh, and one more thing to mention is this is one of the pieces that will have an extra 20% off using my discount code. And then on my feet, I have just got on my Everlane sandals, which I've had for ages now. I've had for like over a year um, and they are always sold out. So I found some super, super similar ones on Amazon. Um, which will again have an extra 20% off with my code. I'm going to insert a picture of them. They are almost identical um, and they are also leather as well. And they're like around, I think they're around 20 something pounds, maybe 30 at a push, but obviously they will have an extra 20% off. So I thought they were a really good piece to include in my kind of selections because I know a lot of you love them. I thought it was a really good 
opportunity to find a good alternative at a really good price as well. I actually really like the way it looks over the top of this dress. I think because I've just pulled the collar out on it a little bit more so it sits slightly more open and it just makes it feel slightly more feminine rather than when it's in like that it feels a bit too kind of closed on my chest area. Um, so I think just folding the collar out on it automatically makes it feel like it sits better. Um, and yeah, I think it looks lovely with this dress as well. What do we think? And then the final thing that I ordered from Amazon that also arrived this morning are these black night leggings. And I ordered these because again, they were a great price. I think they were 28 pounds, which I thought for like Nike gym leggings was really good. And they're in that fabric, you know, like the like silky gym fabric. Can you see they've got a slight bit of a shine to it, to them? Um, but yeah, really lovely fabric. Then they've obviously got the tick on the leg there. And then they've got the little mesh detail up the back as well. And obviously on the waistband, they just say Nike Pro. I've just had a couple of PR packages arrive. First of all is this one from Laura Mercier, which is their new tinted moisturizer oil free, which I'm very excited to try. Obviously I love my regular um, Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer anyway. So this oil free one, sounds amazing and they've sent out 2w1 and 3w1 this is my shade at the moment this will be perfect for winter as well and then they also sent out this cute little makeup well i say makeup bag it's like a little pouch and then at the bottom it's got this section that you can keep kind of jewelry in as well which will be perfect for traveling and a little mirror as well um, yeah, really cute little bag. And then I also got this little package from Bare Minerals, which is their new Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm. And these shades look gorgeous, these three. I'm not so sure about these two, but these three look so pretty, especially this one for summer. And this looks like a really lovely nude as well. I might quickly try this. I've just popped on a little bit of the Pinky Peachy Lip Gloss over the top of the lipstick I already had on and it's such a pretty colour and it feels really lovely on my lips as well. It's kind of like, literally does feel like a cross between a lip gloss and a lip balm, um, but I just love the colour of it. And this one is in the shade Imagination. And then just to quickly show you the bits from Varleon. First of all, I've got on the black lightweight shorts. These feel really lovely and comfortable on. Again, like super, super lightweight, soft fabric. Um, they are quite short, but they have got like a little built-in pant as well. So you feel kind of like, you feel like you'd be covered up, like you're not going to kind of expose yourself. Um, and they sit just below my belly button as well. But I would probably, like I said, I'd probably wear them with like a baggy black vest top. Okay, I really like how this set looks on. The leggings are so comfortable. Like the fabric of them feels so soft i even just said to lou like stroke my leg it's so they just feel really soft basically really comfortable on and they're super high waisted which i was a little bit worried about because on the models online they look like they finished on the belly button whereas they come up just how i like them to sit um the only thing i would say is that the top is a bit small i'm wearing it in a size small and it's cutting in a little bit underneath my armpit and it just feels a bit too tight like you can see it's making me look like I've got boobs basically. I'm a 32B by the way for comparison if you don't know. Um, and I would say that I probably need the medium in the top. And this is how the little cord tracksuit looks on and really easy, really cute, very, very comfortable. And the jumper is quite oversized as well. You can see it's quite a boxy fit. Let me just roll my sleeves down so you can see how it sits. Um, so it's got quite like oversized, almost like bat wing style sleeves. But yeah, really comfortable, really slouchy and just like a cute summer tracksuit set. Okay, I think I'm going to finish off the video here because it is Saturday afternoon now. Well, just about. It's just gone half twelve. Oh, I nearly forgot to show you my watch strap. This is how the watch strap looks on. Um, I'm really pleased with it. The only thing I would say is it's slightly more like rosy gold than I thought it was going to be. Um, although it does come, it also comes in silver and rose gold as well. This is the gold. So you can see it's got like a slight hint of pink to it in comparison to my rings. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. 
um, but considering the price, I think like it feels really comfortable on. It is adjustable. That bit on the back is a magnet. Um, <laughs> me modeling my watch like this. <laughs> um, but yeah, really pleased with it. I like it a lot. So yeah, it'll be linked. Anyway, don't forget that you can get 20% off a select um, a selection of pieces. So just as like, just to mention some of the things, like I said, you've got the leather sandals I mentioned. I also selected some like, not Birkenstocks, but they're like a kind of copy of a Birkenstocks kind of thing. They come in loads of different colors and I thought they were just a really nice, um, more affordable option to a Birkenstock. Um, I also selected these little, not the earrings I've got in now, but like some little gold hoops with little white stones on that I thought were really pretty. I think they're Thomas Sabo ones. Um, so they will have 20% off. What else was there? I'm trying to think. Oh, some New Balance trainers. I selected those as well. Um, so yeah, there's quite a few things. They will all be linked in the description box. And a lot of the pieces that I showed you and that I tried on will also be discounted as well. I'm not sure by how much just yet. Um, sorry, I've just realized you can see me behind there. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Enough rambling, thank you so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do remember to give it a thumbs up um, and hopefully I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.